the Quran was written down, it, first it was memorized by the Prophet Muhammad himself. Then those people around him they memorized it. Again, so, so, so yeah. Muhammad received it on his own. It's in different different times and different situations. Twenty-three but, years. Yeah, over twenty-three years. So initially it was in the cave, as you may have heard, when the angel yeah. gave yeah. angel angel Gabriel came to him, and the first first the first five verses of the Quran were were revealed to him. This time it was only the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu But even the other times, even if the people they did not witness it or they did not see it. Whatever the Prophet ﷺ memorized, it was written down at the time. Okay, so, so let yeah. me just clarify, is yes. it yes, like did people see the angel Gabriel come to Muhammad or, or not, or any, any time? Because it sounds like he didn't. Not in the true form, I don't, I, I, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, there were times when the companions saw the angel Gabriel in the form of a man, but not in the true form of an angel, no. So, okay, so it's, surely that, that's a bit, of, a bit of a red flag that Muhammad just came to everyone and say, oh, this is from God, but no one really... I, I like, the way, I like the way you're, you're pushing the conversation, because obviously you have an idea, you're asking a question, and you have an idea behind it, which is normal. No, I, I just want to know, yeah. I just, yeah. no, I, I'm coming to yeah. understand, like, I, no. you know, I, I want to know, like, you know, yeah. this, this word, like, are you, you're not curious as to, like, there, there was no, no one to testify, whereas, like, in, you know, I am coming here to tell you about Jesus, because in, no in the Bible, you know, there, there yeah. is a lot, of, there's, there's Roman historians who didn't like Jews, there's Jewish historians, they all, they all agree, there's a guy called Jesus of Nazareth who did die on a cross and claimed he was the son of God. One, one, so, point, one point at a time. Let me see. So when it comes to the Quran, the Quran was revealed over 23 years. Yeah. Okay. The Quran was memorized from that time. Okay. We have unbroken chains of the Quran being preserved in writing and memory. So to this day, we have hundreds of thousands of people who memorize Quran from beginning to end. And these people, they will tell you their teacher, who will tell you their teacher, who will tell you their teacher. Back to the Prophet Muhammad Yeah, I get it. It's passed yeah. down through families. Like, I get that, but again... Not families, yeah. but it has to, the teacher is someone, for example, the person memorizes the Quran. Once they finish, they have to re recite the whole Quran to a teacher. Yeah. But even even yeah. to memorize it, I'm yeah. on about where it, where it began, and I, I yes. like it, you know it, it, it's just Muhammad on his own who okay. says that I'm a, I'm a prophet. I don't like uh -huh. and, yeah. So I just I don't really I don't really understand. Okay, but the Quran not only is it preserved, but it has it has tests inside it. Allah has revealed challenges inside the Quran. So in five different places. First, Allah asked the people that if you are in doubt, I, I, let me, I'll come to this point in a minute, about the issue we started on miracles. Miracles have a reason, they have a, a point behind them. So for example, Moses, as we know, he split the, the sea and the children of Israel, they walked through the sea. He caused the, you know, the staff, when he threw it down, it became a, a huge snake. When he placed his hand here, it came out and it was uh, shining white. The reason being to prove that he's a messenger, to affirm that he's a messenger, yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The same Jesus. When Jesus came, caused uh, no, cure no, the leper. No, it wasn't to affirm he's a prophet. No, no, yeah. it, was, it was to show God's power to the Israelites. Like, he, like whether he's a prophet or not, it, God could use anyone to just say, like, I'm God, or I would be, you know, I'm God of the Israelites. So, so it's, it wasn't to prove anything on Moses' behalf. Yeah, but that's what miracles are for, because they prove that the person is truly sent no, it was by to God. To prove God's power against the Israelites. It wasn't anything to do with Moses. And, and, but who, Jesus, it was. But it who, was who, 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 who brought the miracles? So, so, so God did, but yeah. for Jesus, it was to prove yeah. he was the son of God. Moses, Moses said, like, this is what this is God's. Doing, but Jesus said, this is no, my no, no. Doing. I'm, I'm not saying it's Moses doing. God, Moses can't do, can't do, perform miracles. Moses is a human being, okay? Yeah. yeah. But Moses brought miracles to prove that he was from no, God. No, no. So, yeah. so in the Old Testament, he only did it to correct the Israelites. Yeah. Like, yeah to it, prove them he's a messenger from God, no, sent was, by God. No, it was the, the no, same. The same way Jesus. No, no, no. When so, Jesus came with miracles, yeah. and he said, that "Of my own self, I can do nothing." This is to prove that what his message is is correct. So, so yeah. with Muhammad, like yeah. for example, the, the stick with the with the snake around it, it was to heal the it was to heal the Israelites to know that God was the healer. Like it, it was all to do with God. Like he he, he just yeah to God prove to prove that he's a messenger by sent by God. No, not cause it, no, because it, it was just a pro, it was a prophet, but it wasn't to prove that he, what, God could have used anyone. He didn't need no, to prove, you know. Okay, but Moses was appointed by God. He, he was appointed by God, and yeah. he was sent to the children of Israel to call them to what God wanted. Yes. 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 And so how did and, and to prove that he was sent by God, 
No, because everyone's born. Everyone's born. You know, he, he was he was just a human like us, but, I, but God chose him. No, I'm not saying he. I'm not saying Moses was God or yeah. or son of God or yeah, anything. Yeah. But he, he was a prophet, but, yeah. but God didn't need to, like he only he, God proved his own power through Moses. But with Jesus, he did miracles to to prove he was the son of God and that he came for salvation. That's okay. what, you know. Okay. So, yeah. From an Islamic perspective. Messengers, they bring miracles to prove that they are sent by God. Okay. But, but like, that, that just doesn't make, that doesn't make sense in the Old Testament because like, uh, God God only led the Israelites, you know, to, to be their God. Like Moses was just a, a, like a middle man kind of thing, you know. It's, a, a, a man, a messenger. I, I, yes. A prophet, but like, and a messenger. To show God's, yeah, I I don't agree with that. So, Moses didn't yeah. deliver a message from God. He, he was he was a prophet. Yeah, he was a prophet. He was a, me a messenger. Again, he, he was a messenger no also. He was just chosen. Well, he, he was special in, in human status. But he, he wasn't he wasn't beyond being a human. No, no, he wasn't. No. He's still a human. Yeah, yeah. But he was given uh, miracles which humans can't perform. God performed them through Moses. Not Moses had the own power himself. God to prove that he was a messenger. Again, no, so, yeah. so as Christians, as Christians, yeah. when God gives you the Holy Spirit, we can all do miracles. Like I've, I've seen blind see, yeah. I've seen lame people walk. Like it's because yeah. God gives you that Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's not because I'm special. It's because it's because God's behind me doing it. Like yes. so, so, yeah, so that's, but, but you're not claiming to be a messenger, are you? There's prophets. Like I, I do uh, have the prophetic gift. Yeah. So, okay. so yeah. Like what, if, what prophetic gift do you have? So, so for example, like uh, you, in Christianity, if you pray for people, you can actually reveal things to them about about God's plans for their future. I've been experienced it myself, where people mm. people know things about me that God's revealed to them, uh -huh. and that, that's the like if you, even if you YouTube it, like you can see prophets uh -huh. in Christianity, like pre like predict things, like yeah. So it's crazy. Uh, and can they predict things and get it wrong? Sorry. Have they ever predicted things and got so, them wrong? So, no, if it's from no. God, it comes to pass. No, if no, it's no. not from God, yeah, they can predict false stuff. Okay. But I, I've not had anything myself. But if people pray for you, that's what the Holy Spirit does. Like, if I pray for you right now, like God, God can tell me things about your own life. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, all people have it. Like, all Christians have this gift. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I, I urge you to look into it because it proves that God's real. No problem. No problem. <laughs> we're, 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 we're still, no, we believe God is real. We have yeah, no, no doubt sorry, God is real. It proves real. that. It proves that. Um, that like. That I that I am that I'm going to heaven as well. I have got like the gifts that God gives us. He in the Bible he, he promises like he'll give the Holy Spirit to people and they will do things that he did. He he rose people from dead. He, he made like lame people walk. He made the blind see. He said you will do things greater than me because because you believe in me and, and that's what you can do. Like I, I've seen miracles. That's why I became Christian. Like I, I, you know I saw them at age 18. I, like, so I so what did the, what did the miracle affirm for you? Yeah. So uh, so a bit of my, my testimony. Is no 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 sorry not not testimony. Okay. I, I just want to know what you understand the purpose of miracles are. So, so it, it, it's God's Holy Spirit. Like it, it, it proves that, like, like God sent His Holy Spirit to believers. Like He sends His, his gifts down. Like so, so miracles are to prove something as an evidence. Yes. They, well, okay, that's yeah, what that's are, that's yes. what I said. That's what I said. Well, they sure they okay. can be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm just going to tell you from the Islamic perspective. Yeah. If you agree, you, or you don't agree. Obviously, That's all right, it yeah. is fine. So, Islamically, messengers are given miracles to prove that they are messengers. Okay. So, Jesus was given miracles to prove that he was a messenger, curing the leper, curing the blind, bringing a dead man back to life, etc. That was to prove he was son of God. That's the difference. Yeah, he did the more. Uh, yeah. The, the problem. The problem with that argument is, then you'd have to say, why would his proof that he's a son of God? But he wouldn't prove someone else had done a miracle, the Son of God. But without coming to that, so the last messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and all of them, he also brought miracles to show that he's a messenger. Okay. Now, Moses' miracles are something which we haven't witnessed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So sorry, I'm just going to go back to you up that point because I just had to think about that. That was a, that was a good point. Like, you know, how come Moses is a, isn't the son of God? But uh, but what Jesus did was he, he did things not to prove. Like he he healed people. Like Moses didn't do that. He, like Jesus went up to people and said, "In my name, I command like evil spirits and demons Mo to go Moses, out." Of people. Moses, you're Moses saying, couldn't do that. Moses couldn't you're say saying, in Moses' you're, name. You're, compa <laughs> you're comparing a person who's human, alive, who's sick. And brought and given health by the power of God, because Jesus said, of my, "Of my own self, I can do nothing." Rather, this is the power of God. It wasn't Jesus Himself. But you're comparing that to a stick that was dead and it became a huge, a huge snake. Mm. Uh, anyway. No, no, I don't, I don't get what you. I don't get what you mean. The thing is, miracles from God. 
to cure a person, a sick person, by the power of God is a miracle. But to say, but 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 to say, but to say that that's greater than bringing a stick and making yeah. it into a snake, I don't understand. So, so, so Moses had a, like God gave God did that for Moses for a purpose for the Israelites to say like I will heal you. God had a different purpose for that. But but Jesus came and healed thousands of people and fed thousands of people. He, he made like you know fish and bread. To well, well, God God done it through Jesus. <laughs> well. It, Sure, then, like, no, no, but, but, but you're, say, you're saying that the miracle proves that he's the son of God. And I'm saying it wouldn't, if you're going to put that as a rule, then you'd have to apply it on it, other prophets. It's not a rule, but he said, like, I, I okay, came okay, to, like, heal the okay. blind and make the lame walk again. Uh, like, I, I came for these things because that's that what the son of man came to do. No problem, no problem. So no problem. Yeah. My point, but my point is, so, the, the, so my point is, all these previous miracles, yeah. we believe in them by text. We don't believe that uh, Moses threw the stick and it became a huge snake by, by witnessing it. I didn't witness it. But, but like, that's, like all the Jews did and the Jew, uh, Jewish historians did. So Yeah, so you believe it because it's written. Sorry? You believe it because it's been written down. It has been written, but it's been, it's been testified yeah. by thousands of people, all the Jews and all the Jewish historians. So, okay. And even the Egyptian historians. In the book of Exodus. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're going to say it's being testified by thousands of witnesses, okay. Who wrote the book of Exodus? Moses. Where does it say that? I mean, that's a, that's a Christian belief, that's a Jewish belief, but where does it say that? Like, that's, I couldn't tell you where it said that, but I just know no it, it was written. They were all written by Moses, you know? So, because, because a, a book says that, because a book says that a thousand people saw it as a witness, we're still believing it based on it's written down. Mm -hmm. We're not, we're not, we haven't met these thousands of people. Yeah. That's, that's my point. That, that's true, but it, like, but you also believe in Moses. I get that, but when you apply it to Jesus, it's different because, like, Roman historians, or like, like thousands and thousands, like Roman historians, Jewish, Roman historians did not like Jesus. They didn't like a Jew, you know. They they, they didn't no lie about no it. They no said problem. a no. guy called Jesus of Nazareth did die on a cross, you know. You no, can't, no, you can't no deny. problem. No problem. No problem. All scholars like agree that Jesus. No problem. We're, we're jumping the point. We're just yeah. we're just on the issue of miracles at the moment. Yeah. As Muslims, we believe in. Moses and his miracles, we believe in Jesus and yeah. the miracles because the Quran has informed us. We do, so you do we, believe in Jesus and his miracles? Yes. All of them? We believe that he, uh, according to the Quran, he was able to give life to the dead, he was able to cure the one who was blind, he was able to cure the, le the leper. So we believe in these miracles, yes. Okay, so, so did Muhammad, what, what miracles did Muhammad do? That's, that's what I'm coming to. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm yeah. coming to. So when we, when we take the example of Moses and Jesus, these miracles, we believe in them because we have been informed of them. Yeah. We don't believe in them because we've seen them. Okay. Why? Because their prophethood or their prophecy was for a limited time and a limited uh, place and a limited amount of people. Okay. As Muslims, we believe that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was sent for all mankind regardless of tribe, race, etc., until the last day. So his miracle, we have miracles of the Prophet Muhammad which we have been informed of. And we, we again, let me finish, I, can, let me finish, let me finish. Yeah. We, we have so many witnesses who, who saw miracles of the Prophet Muhammad but the main miracle is the Quran itself. What, what miracles were these? I, I don't know. Uh, he, caused, he split the moon. Who saw, who saw this? Uh, many companions, they saw this. It's, I can't, I, if, you, if you have time, I can show you references of the names of the people who saw it, the people who witnessed it, again, the people who reported it. Again, these friends, someone said wives, like, again, these, were, these were, it seemed like they're, they're people, people to Muhammad. They're people. But, but like, these were, this was the public seeing, seeing what and, Jesus did. And the children of Israel, I mean, see, the thing is, you're still, when it comes to Moses' miracles, you're saying thousands of people, but those thousands of people, you would say that they are the followers of Moses, but you I'm don't. Not, no, I'm not really on about Moses. I'm but, more on about Jesus. I know, but but, but yeah. you don't know their names, mm. okay? Yeah. No, I'm on about the Jesus. Like, okay. I don't care. About, even, you believe in Moses as well, but I'm on about even, Jesus. Even, Je even yeah. Jesus' miracles. Mm. Even but, Jesus. Like, no one denies that Jesus didn't die on a cross. It didn't exist and die on a cross. Like, like it has been like it's, it's historically uh -huh. proven. Like, like go on Google. There's like so many like you know there's there's okay. so much evidence to it. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Who were the eyewitnesses? The, Again, like no. Who who were the who were the eyewitnesses that saw the, the, the historians? So the people who wrote it down and documented uh, it. In, okay. Yeah. 
So those historians who wrote it down and documented it, they were eyewitnesses. I, I believe so, but a lot, well, maybe, maybe not all of them, but obviously like Pontius Pilate, like all, and like where, all of them would have said. And Pontius Pilate, where did he write it down? Um, like again, like this is I don't no, know. No, because you know, because because gonna... because what what you my point is, even the miracles of Jesus, I believe in them because they come in the Quran. You believe in them because they come in the Bible. You're trying to make a case of eyewitnesses and thousands of eyewitnesses, so, but you don't know who they are. It, yeah, I, I don't know them personally, but what I what I what, when I compare the Bible to the Quran, it's it's Muhammad received. Received the word of God on his own, maybe miracles. Yeah. He received this this Quran on his own. No, no one saw this, but yeah. but Jesus, people saw these miracles. People saw him claim who? the son of God. Like, like again, the history, no, but who? Like, but which eyewitness saw it? So the people, the people, the eyewitnesses then then t like documented it down. You know, the Where? historians knew it. Like again, I'm not gonna. I'm no, not no, because look, when you when you talk about uh, Roman and non-Christian. Uh, yeah, agreeing that Jesus. His, his why, why would they? Why would they claim a, you know, like? Let me finish. They, yeah, when you're talking about non-Christian historians, I'm going to say something now. You don't have to accept it from me, but look it up. All of the all they're doing is reporting what people have said. They themselves were not eyewitnesses, and they are reporting what people believe. But here, you're, you're denying you deny eyewitnesses and you just start, you, you're denying historical evidence. So I'm asking you for... Like, 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 no, no, no. You're, no, what no. you're saying is, I didn't see a person, so I'm not going to believe it. But I'm no, going to believe Muhammad, no, who, who no, had that's, it on that's his own. Not, that's not what I'm saying. It kind of is. You know, that's, that's why it's we kind believe of not. in science, because, no. because of historians, because of evidence. You know, no, why, no, no, why would you believe listen, in Jesus? Let me explain what I'm saying. Yeah. Or Jesus' death. You're saying eyewitnesses. And I'm telling you, yeah. the people who documented it, none of them were eyewitnesses. Well, we don't know this. You know, they could have been. Okay. Tell me, you're, you're the one making the claim. Yeah. My, my claim is that as a Muslim, we believe in Jesus and his miracles because the, it's documented. The Quran has told us. And we believe the Quran is the speech of yeah. God. So, so why did Jesus do, do these miracles? Just to prove he's a... He's a... To prove he's a messenger, yes. So, but, uh, okay. but, but, and you're saying that you believe in Jesus and the miracles of Jesus and Jesus died on, on a cross because of eyewitnesses. But I, I, I believe, I understand that Christians believe in it because it's documented in the Bible. And then you have non-Christian historians Again, who are sorry. writing about it. But none I'm of but, there, cause I, I believe in it as well because I've seen miracles done in Jesus' name. But I've, I've seen sick healed in Jesus' name. Okay, you know? okay. I know there's power in e it. Even if you even even if you've seen a miracle, I've, I've encountered okay. God's okay. spirit. You know, like I, I've seen miracles yeah. also. In, in Muhammad's name, I don't know. I've seen miracles, yes, definitely. But what, what, what kind of like? Because Muhammad didn't he didn't heal this. What did like what miracles did Let me let me finish. I'm, I'm, I just want to establish a point before we go on. My point is. All the miracles you believe in about Jesus is because it came to you documented in the Bible. I've already said, like, you know, but again, it, 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 you're, like, here you're that's, just that's, saying that's, I didn't I, see it, so I can't believe it. No, but, I'm not, I'm not saying yeah. I can't believe it. I just want you to understand yeah. you don't believe in it because you witnessed it. Well, and no, you don't, it's, and you, and it's you don't. 2,000 years ago, you know? <laughs> yes, that's my point. And you don't believe in it because you know eyewitnesses who saw it. Again. Like, for example, Paul wasn't an eyewitness, was he? Yeah, he was, yeah. Paul never saw Jesus when he was oh, alive. He, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, he, no he, he didn't, he didn't. He saw him in a vision. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Mark, Matthew, Luke and John, none of them were eyewitnesses. Yeah. None, yeah. Of the, none of them saw Jesus crucified on the cross. My, my point is, I'm, I'm not... they walked with Jesus through, through, through their lives, so that, that they saw the miracles Luke that didn't. Down. Luke didn't. Mark didn't. Matthew. It's claimed that Matthew and John, and it's only a claim. We can come no, to. They, they, they all walked. They, they no. all did, apart from John. Luke, apart it, from John, who was put in prison. Okay. Obviously, you don't have to accept what I'm saying, but just yeah. look it up. Luke was never considered a companion, a disciple of Jesus. Mark was never. Con he was considered a scribe of Peter. That's what they say. Who, who's saying this? Sorry. Uh, biblical scholars, Christian scholars. This is this is known. Okay. Like. Obviously, I'm, I'm not trying to impose on you, but this is this is what I read. This is what I've seen from Christian scholars, biblical scholars. But my my point is, I'm just trying to make a simple point. You believe in the miracles of Jesus 
because of documentation which has come to you and you believe the Bible is the inspired word of God but you don't believe in it because obviously 2,000 years ago me and you didn't witness it but also you don't believe in it because it's been documented by eyewitnesses Okay, so, so first of all, I, I, believe, I believe in it for three things. Like, I've seen the spirit of, I, I've encountered Jesus, he's changed my life, so that's why I believe okay. in him. I, I, like, you know, again, I've seen miracles in my own life, my family are like, you know, you're, you're a different person now, it's because of what Jesus has done in my life. Uh -huh. uh, so, so that's why. I, I, and, and then, if, you, if you're going to go, a lot of Muslim people are interested in the, in the evidence and the, and the historical part of it, I, like, it is there too, to prove that, that this thing... But is, not by eyewitnesses, that's my point. Yeah, yeah, eyewitnesses, yeah. There was, like, name, name one. Like Mary Magdalene, okay. Mary the mother and, of Jesus. Okay. Yeah. And how do you know that Mary Magdalene was an eyewitness? But because, like, again, it, it, it was... It was known. It was. It was documented. Like there, there was Roman soldiers there as well. Like they all said, like the, the, okay. like the, the king of Jews. So Mary Magdalene, Magdalene, who did she tell for it to be written down? Again, like she, she told all the well, like all the everyone knew that Jesus was being crucified. A, a few people saw it, but everyone saw like him being like you know told that he's going to die and no, being no. sentenced to death. My point is, my point is whether it happened or whether it didn't happen. That's a second, uh, secondary issue. My point is, you only believe in it because you have documented evidence or documents, sorry, that tell you it happened. But those people who wrote the documents, none of them claim to be eyewitnesses. Is is that you believe in it because you're a Christian and because of the documents, not because of eyewitness evidence? I like. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to research that myself. But no I know. Problem. I know they were. No problem. You know. I know. Like, no problem. I know they did sit. They walked with Jesus and saw his miracles. So that's why. Like. Okay. Yeah. As for the as for the Prophet Muhammad sallam, his miracles, the main miracle he came with was the Quran. Why? Because we believe he was a messenger for all mankind. Then it's only. Uh, just and only fair that all mankind is able to witness the miracle, the Quran. Okay. Whereas someone who claims to be a follower of Moses, he can't actually, in this day, or someone who claims to be a follower of Jesus, can't actually witness the miracles that Jesus performed at that time or the miracles that Moses performed at that time. They can only trust in what has been reported to them. The same. And again, I, again, I, I have encountered like, like in Jesus' name, things, things be done. Like, you know, I've encountered, yeah. I've, I've seen Jesus in, in my own life, like rescue me from, from like experiences. Okay, that that's, I had, that's, like, that's, you know, that's fine. Me. That's, so, that's fine. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm talking yeah. about the miracles when he was alive on the earth. Yeah. You again, don't, you so, don't know yeah. about it except by document. Maybe you're experiencing another miracle yeah. now, but it's not those ones. That's my point. Okay. Yeah. So my point, where, where I'm getting to is the Qur'an itself is a miracle which all people now, they can witness with their own eyes. They can witness what an angel gave to Muhammad and then he told everyone else. Like. They can't witness the angel giving it to Muhammad. No. They can't wit witness Muhammad because he, he died. Muhammad went he died. on his own to, to, like, yeah. again, to risk. We go around in circles, but Muhammad, like, yes. no one saw the angel Gabriel give this to Muhammad. But the Qur'an is there. Yeah. So this Qur'an itself, from one witness, whereas I've got like this, this thousands for it. Okay, yeah. this Quran itself, we have an unbroken chain back to the Prophet Muhammad. We have the names, the tribes, the family names of 65 scribes of the Quran. So we have that. But the Quran we have today, this is the miracle, the main miracle. Now, this Quran is that we can test it, we can witness it ourselves. Okay. So my point is, the Qur'an, as I mentioned before, in five places, Allah has challenged the people. If you are in doubt, if you don't believe this is the word of Allah, then bring forth... First, Allah asked them to bring a, a Qur'an like it, bring a recital like it. Then He asked them to bring ten verses like it. Sorry, sorry, ten chapters. The, the Qur'an has 114 chapters. They were asked to bring ten chapters like it. Finally, the challenge was given if, if you are in doubt that this Qur'an is the speech of Allah, the word of God, just bring one chapter like it. Okay. The Qur'an itself, the smallest chapter is three verses. 
It's only three verses. In the kal kawtha fa salli rabbika wanha in the shani kul abata. We are asking, the Quran is challenging people, just make one chapter like this. So this comes in Quran, I'll, I'll just mention to it. It says, وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبِ مِمَّا نَزَلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَأْتُوا بِصُورَةٍ مِثْلِهِ وَدْعُوا شُهَدَاءُكُمْ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ وَإِن لَمْ تَفْعَلُوا وَلَمْ تَفْعَلُوا فَاتَّقُوا النَّارُ الَّذِي بِقُودَهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَادَ وَعِدَّ لِلْكَافِرِينَ Allah, he asks, it's in chapter 2 of the Quran. Allah says, if you are in doubt, you're not sure. If about what I have sent down upon my worshipper, upon Muhammad Sallallahu if you are in doubt that this Quran is from Allah, you don't believe this, the Quran we have is from Allah, the speech of God. This is the challenge. Bring forth a chapter like it and call our call whoever you wish as your helpers. And if you cannot, so the, the challenge has been made, then the next verse says, if you cannot do it and you will never be able to do it, then fear the fire. His fuel is men and stones. I don't understand that. Like, it's saying bring a chapter like yes. it. Like, like that, that seems like. What, what does that mean? Like, I could bring the I, Bible. That's subjective. I'm going you know? to. I'm going to tell you what it means. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you what it means. Yeah. Okay. The Arab. Well, I don't The Arabs at the time, or even before Islam, one of the main things which they took pride in was their language and their poetry. These people who had such high levels of poetry, they were asked. Bring a Quran, bring a chapter like the Quran, in the meaning, in the eloquence, in the language. Again, in the, this, in this, this, this is a proof. This, is, this, like, this means nothing. Oh, I can, you know, no problem. No problem. I don't understand how, how that's proven. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to explain yeah. to you how it's explained there. So this challenge has been there for 1,400 years. Nobody has met this challenge because people have tried. But people have brought out, there's mistakes in it, the meaning is incorrect, the language is incorrect. So Quran, it stands as a miracle of its, of its so, own. I, I don't, like, what do you uh, mean? Like, I, I would say the Bible is perfect, you know? Like, I don't, like, sure, from, from the, the, an Islam believer, like, uh, you know, I, I, just, I don't really get the hell of okay. the challenge. Like, okay. Because, uh, let me see. You know, in the Quran's perfect, like, on Muhammad's, like, on Muhammad's standard, like, you know, it's Okay, so then you should be able to find someone. Do your research, look into it. Someone who's actually brought a chapter like the Quran. Because the, the challenge is there, it's, it's very open. Obviously... Well, what, do you, what do you mean when it's, it's like the Quran? Like, I don't understand. Something with the same meaning, the same yeah. depth, the same beauty, the same eloquence. But, uh, but, uh, like, I think that the beauty is the fact that God would come down and die for your sins so you can go to heaven. Like, that, that seems beautiful to me. So no problem. <laughs> the point is, if the, if the Qur'an is not the, the speech of Allah, it's not the speech of God, revealed to the last messenger for all mankind, if it's not that, then the challenge would be easy to, to meet. So, let me finish. So look, since the coming of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he, he, he himself took part in wars. They were attacked. They fought against the idol worshippers, then we continued to fight against Christian armies, we fought against the Jews, continuously, continuously, up until today, Muslims are still being fought against, we have uh, newspaper articles, we have people writing books against Islam, and you can say people are doing the same against Christianity to some extent. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's still happening, this onslaught, this onslaught. All they have to do, save your time, save your money, save your bloodshed, save your soldiers, save your invading our country. Just bring a chapter like it. Do you, do you not think that if they were able to do it, they would have done it? I, I don't, I really, I just don't understand your argument. Like, like, no problem, look yeah. into it, look into it and see has anyone met this challenge.